All right, YouTube, what's up? It's uh, Flobo here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you my uh, new speakers. Here they are. These replaced my uh, SA-15Ts. As you can see, there's nothing any nothing here anymore because my SA-15Ts actually broke. I don't know what happened. One of them started to rattle. As you can see, I got the other one here. And I also have an Enforcer 2 powered subwoofer. These are the new ones. These are their premium cabinets. The ones made from solid birch plywood. These are modeled, I believe, uh, I don't know, but they don't have any portholes. The guy from Seismic told me it was just like the Yamaha Club Series that don't have ports. But I also have an equalizer now. Ultragraph Pro FBQ 1502. My Seismic Audio amp, which isn't powerful enough. The shelf or the drawer. There's the back of them. Here's the, uh, someone just pulled in my driveway, sorry. Here's the sub, the back of it. You got volume, bass, which is your, uh, full pass filter. It goes from 45 hertz to 800 hertz. Your input, your output, heat sink, and there's a fan in here. Functions and features. 1200 watts, super woofer output, and low pass filter. My power strip's starting to get filled up. Now I'll give you a demo. Out. One more thing, I forgot to mention the features of this. Seismic Audio FL15P uh, Fault Line Series, which is their premium cabinets. Professional loudspeaker, frequency response, you can pause the video if you want. Same dual speak on, dual quarter inch. Uh, the sub really doesn't have anything interesting to show you. So it does have a power select switch. And so do the amps, I don't know but my Behringer doesn't. So I guess Seismic can be used in other countries. Who knows? I also got new speak on cable, 50 feet. This is, I can believe, Griffin cable. But these cables I bought from eBay, these are shit, I had to repair one today. I, they're not even a month old and I had to repair them. So that's basically it, peace out.